Okay, one of my viewers by special request wanted me to do another revisit on the uh, decade box for um, for measurements, and uh, he brought up a good point of using the actual decade box as the cal source. Um, so if you're going to cal something, you might as well cal it with the thing you're going to measure. So uh, we can see here that I I have a uh, 50 kilohertz to 2 megahertz sweep, and we have a little bit of uh, inductance kick here um, from uh, low frequencies to high frequencies. And so let's see if we can't cal that out. Uh, so we're going to do a uh, cal. We're going to do reset, calibrate. First we're going to do an open. He suggested we use 10,000 ohms as an open, so we'll do that. Uh, so here's 10,000 ohms. We'll say that's an open. Short, we'll dial in zero. Load, we'll dial in 50 ohms. And we'll say done. And we'll save that in number four. So, wow. So there we go. Our 50 ohm is right in the center and there's no kick up of inductance. So it has calibrated out the inductance. So here's 40, 30, 20, 10, and uh, zero is right here. So that's looking good. 60, 70, 80, 90. And if we go to, um, let's see, if we go to 10,000 again, uh, we are right on the uh, Smith chart. So, yeah, very nice. Here's a 1,000 ohms. 100 ohms. Oh, 100 ohms is showing a little bit of induct or, uh, capacitance. Interesting. And uh, go back to 50. So we're spot on, no movement. 50 ohms is perfect. So yeah, very nice. Uh, showing you uh, how you can calibrate out uh, stuff. And showing you uh, again, uh, this little uh, VNA is working very well.